squirrels. Got him. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wanderby Outdoors. So today's episode we're going to do a catch and cook or a hunt and cook depending on how you look at it. And we're making squirrel pot pie. Now, if you're from Pennsylvania, pot pie in Pennsylvania is a PA Dutch style pot pie. It's more of a soup with a thick, hearty noodle in it, not the pot pie that the rest of the country has where it's a pie crust. Real simple ingredients. We're gonna take the squirrel carcasses, cook them down in an Instant Pot for about 30 minutes, pull the meat out, pull the meat off the bone, throw the bones back in, put it back in the Instant Pot for about an hour probably and make a nice broth out of it. Then into that, we're gonna add some potatoes, some onion, some carrots. Then we'll put all that in the Instant Pot with the broth, the meat, the veggies. We'll throw in our homemade pot pie noodles, which I'll show you guys quick how to make. You can also buy store-bought, but you're not gonna get the same quality as if you roll out the noodles by hand. Boo and I did spend a few days out hunting, and if you've never hunted with a toddler, well, hunting with a toddler is not always quiet. Go. Come on. Come on. And now he's picking up acorns. Come on, Bill. Yeah, and that's pretty much how that goes. Okay, so we got our squirrel and it's been soaking in the brine. We're gonna give it one last good rinse. Make sure we got as much of the hair off of it as we could. And put it right in the Instant Pot. Now the first two squirrels we got for this recipe, I wasn't thinking and I threw the rib cages away. I should have kept those. And we're gonna add just enough water to cover the squirrel. Okay, so we got enough water to cover the squirrel. Back into the Instant Pot. Okay, in the Instant Pot, we're gonna set it for manual, 30 minutes. Now while well, that's in the Instant Pot, let's flash back to a couple of the hunts that I had him on. We went out at the beginning of the week and shot a couple of squirrels. I wanted to come out and clean this blind out so that we can get into it quiet in case we want to use it tomorrow during archery. There is no sense of quiet when hunting with a toddler. Watch over there, there's two deer. Hold his tail up. He's getting a little better every time we go out. He is starting to learn to whisper instead of talking and yelling the whole time. So we're getting there. Baby steps. Or toddler steps, I guess. So the squirrel's done cooking. 
Now we got to get it out of there and let it cool enough to debone it. But you don't have to use an Instapot. If you have a stovetop pressure cooker or pressure canner, you can use that as well. Okay, now we're just going to debone the meat, making sure that you don't have any bone fragments down in it. Once we get all the meat off, all the bones are going to go back into the pot get a good bone broth going. Once we get the broth done, then we'll take everything out and strain it through a strainer to get rid of all the pieces of bone. That way there's no bone in the actual pot pie. All the bones are back in the Instapot. Manual for an hour. Let it come up to temp and do its thing. And we've got a nice bowl of meat. The hearts never go back in. Boo! A little bit of sea salt. What? Come here. You want a squirrel heart? Open up. Grab it and run. These were what my brothers and I always fought over after, as kids, and I still love them. We got carrots, onions, and potatoes all diced up. That's going to go in once the broth is done. We're going to take the broth, strain out all the nasty out of it, all the bone and all that. Put the broth back in, add this, add the squirrel meat, and then we'll get working on the noodles. Okay, and it's done. We're going to fast release it just to get rid of the pressure so we can actually get this recipe done because I'm getting hungry. So now we're all vented out. And it smells amazing. And we're just going to boost Step back, buddy. We're just going to take this and pour it through a strainer to catch all the pieces of bone. Then Instapot back in. We're going to put our broth back in the pot. By the way, I did not season this at all yet. I didn't put any salt or anything into it. I am going to add, now that we're back in there, we're going to add a little bit of sea salt. We'll start with a little and go from there. We're going to take our veggies, put them down in. We're going to turn it back on to get it cooking so it cooks the veggies. Use the soup setting. Okay, so we got a little bit of sea salt in there. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. You can season this however you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. A little bit, tablespoon or two. I put garlic in everything. And we're going to put our meat back in. Kind of feel through it a second time as you're going through just to make sure you didn't miss any bones. You may need to add some water back into it or add some more water to it rather so that you have enough for your noodles. You give that a stir, let it come up to temperature. As that's coming back up to temp, we're going to get started on our pot pie noodles. Three cups of flour, about a tablespoon of shortening, give or take. 
And I'm just going to mix the shortening in with my fingers. And I screwed up and put the egg in before I put the shortening in. So I scooped the egg out with my measuring cup. Now we're going to put the egg back in. And we're going to need about a half a cup or so of water. And we'll add that a little at a time once we get the egg mixed in. And we'll add water just a little at a time just to get it into a, a dough that comes together. Okay. Now we're just going to let this rest for a couple minutes. Looking back here, we're going to flour this a little bit. Flatten it out a little bit and take your trusty rolling pin and start rolling it down. So take the time to work your dough out thin enough to cut your Popeye squares. Now, once you get it down to an acceptable thickness, grab a knife or a pizza cutter and start cutting your pot pie squares. You can cut them into thin strip noodles, you can cut them into squares, whatever your preference is. And we're going to let these sit on the board and dry until the soup base comes back up to a boil. Once it's back up to a boil and these have dried for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, you're gonna take your noodles and drop them down in half a dozen or so at a time. Give it a stir down. And repeat. stir and let it cook. Now I'll stir this every five or ten minutes. It usually takes a good 20 to 30 minutes for the noodles to cook through. The thicker the noodle the longer it takes but I make a pretty thick noodle for pot pie. That's how I like it. And the more it cooks the more it turns into a thicker consistency. Dish some of this out and let it cool down. And then we'll taste test it. Look at that. This has got to be one of my favorite fall meals. Is it good? You like it? You like it? Mm. That's good stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Big thing that makes this good is cooking down the carcasses after you debone it to get all the flavor. Don't use chicken stock. It ruins the whole dish. And I know a lot of people do it, but don't do it. Take the time to cook the carcass down. Well, we're going to sit here and eat this. Thanks for watching. Give us a like. Drop us a comment if you want to see anything in the future. And remember to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of our future adventures. We'll see you on the next one.